Nigeria, Egypt, South Africa, the three richest countries in Africa when looking at their GDP. Welcome back to the Travel Bible, I'm Sam, your narrator for the video. In this video, we will be comparing three of the wealthiest nations in Africa, Nigeria, Egypt and South Africa. Then once you've watched the video and dropped a like of course, we will ask you which one you'd live in, which one you'd visit and which one you'd avoid. We will compare their demographics, geography, economy, infrastructure and quality of life. And of course, we'll throw in some interesting facts along the way. So sit back, relax, and we hope you learn something new. So let's start off by looking at their geographical locations within Africa. So Nigeria is located towards the northwest of the continent on the Gulf of Guinea. The capital city is Abuja. Egypt is located in the northeast of the continent and links Africa to the Middle East. The capital city is, of course, Cairo. And then we have South Africa which is a country on the southernmost tip of the African continent, marked by several distinct ecosystems. Now, South Africa actually has three capital cities. So we have Pretoria, Cape Town and Bloemfontein. These three countries make a great comparison as they are all on the same continent but are widely different to each other and have completely different cultures and ways of life. So let's start off by looking at some statistics about their demographics. Starting off, of course, with their population. So, starting with the lowest out of the three, we have South Africa, with just over 59 million people, putting them as the 25th most populated nation on Earth, above Myanmar and below Tanzania. Next, with over 102 million, we have Egypt, making them the 14th most populated country on Earth, behind the Philippines and above Vietnam. And then finally, the most populated out of the three, and by far the most populated African nation, we have Nigeria, with an incredible 206 million people, putting them behind Brazil and significantly above Bangladesh, making them the seventh most populated country in the world. Before we move on, let's take a quick look at the predicted populations of these three nations in the year 2050. Now, this one is nuts. So, Nigeria is predicted to rise from its 206 million people today to an astonishing 400 million people by the year 2050. Is it even possible for a country of Nigeria's size to sustain a population growth that extreme in less than 30 years? Egypt is expected to rise to around 138 million. Again, a big increase, but nothing compared to Nigeria. And finally, South Africa whose population is estimated to rise to around 68 million people, which is roughly what the UK is today. By the year 2050, India will be the world's most populated nation, with an unbelievable 1.6 billion people. Alright, so let's now take a look at their population densities. So to no surprise, Nigeria is the most densely populated out of the three, with roughly 215 people per kilometre squared. Next, we have Egypt, with roughly 99 people per kilometre squared. And then finally, the least densely populated out of the three, South Africa, with a much more pleasing 47 people per kilometre squared. However, in some of the poorer neighbourhoods across South Africa, this would likely be much, much higher. Next, let's take a look at the life expectancy for these three countries. Now, this one actually took me by surprise. So, Nigeria comes in with the lowest life expectancy, at roughly 59 years. Next, we have South Africa, with roughly 64 years, and then Egypt, with just over 73 years. And finally, let's take a look at the average age of the population in these three countries. So again, to no surprise, Nigeria has by far the youngest population at just 18.1, meaning that the average inhabitant in Nigeria is only just an adult. Next, we have Egypt at again a very young 23.6. And then finally, the oldest out of the three, South Africa with just over 27. The highest median age in the world, excluding Monaco, as this is where the mega rich go to retire, is Japan at under 49 years. Okay, cool. So let's now move on to the geography of these three countries. Again, they are completely different, so it makes a very interesting comparison. First, let's take a look at their total land area. Nigeria has just under 911,000 kilometers squared, 
meaning that they are by far the most populated nation with the smallest land area out of the three. And then not far off 1 million kilometers squared we have Egypt. And then finally the largest out of the three but with the smallest population, South Africa with just over 1.2 million kilometers squared. I actually didn't realize that South Africa was so big, I could have sworn Egypt was bigger. Cool, so now let's take a look at the percentage of their landmass that's covered in forest. The northern region of Egypt is bounded by two deserts, meaning that it has just 0.1% of its land covered by forest. Next we have South Africa with just 7.6% and then finally Nigeria with the most at 9.5%. It's quite crazy that Nigeria wins this one with a single digit percentage. And finally for geography, let's now take a look at how much coastline these three countries have. So with an absolute minuscule 850 kilometers, we have Nigeria, the least out of the three. Next we have Egypt at around 2400 kilometers. And then just under 2800 kilometers, we have South Africa. And you sure as hell will not catch me swimming in their waters. I'll stay well away from the great white sharks. Okay, so let's now move on to the economy and some financial statistics about these nations. Now the reason that we chose these three countries is that they have the three highest GDPs in all of Africa. So let's have a look to see who wins this one. So let's start off with the lowest out of the three, which is Egypt with just over 317 billion US dollars, making them the 40th wealthiest nation on earth behind Colombia and above Bangladesh. Next we have South Africa with just over 351 billion making them the 37th richest country on earth behind the Philippines and above Denmark. And there we have it, the richest nation on the African continent, Nigeria, with around 474 billion US dollars as their GDP, making them the 26th wealthiest country in the world behind Sweden and above Argentina. Now let's take a look at the GDP per capita. So this is the total GDP divided by the population. So taking the win here, we have Egypt at just over 14,000 US dollars per person. Then just behind, we have South Africa with just below 14,000. And then trailing quite behind, we have Nigeria with just over $6,000 per person. All right, so if you're South African, you better cover your ears for this next one. We'll now take a look at the youth unemployment rate of these three countries. So of course the lower here the better. So with 12.4% Nigeria actually takes the win here, followed by Egypt with just under 30%. Now if you thought Egypt's 30% was high then think again. South Africa has an astonishing 53% youth unemployment rate, making them by far the highest in the world. If you are South African and you're watching this then please let us know in the comments as to why this is so high. We'd love to hear from you guys. And finally, for economy, let's look at how much national debt these three countries are in. This is the total percentage of their GDP owed in debt to lenders. So with just under 22%, Nigeria takes the clear win here, meaning that they have the biggest economy with the youngest workforce and the least debt. Next, we have South Africa at 53%. And then finally, Egypt with by far the highest out of the three with 103%. And now let's quickly fire through some infrastructure stats, which South Africa completely dominates. So South Africa has by far the highest percentage of their population who are internet users. South Africa has by a country mile the most roadways at three quarters of a million. South Africa also has the most railways at 21,000 kilometers. And finally, South Africa has by far the most airports with a very impressive 566. And finally, to end the video, let's take a look at some quality of living stats and facts. The variation between these three countries here is crazy. So starting off with the percentage of their adult population that is classed as obese. So Nigeria takes a clear win with just under 9%, followed by South Africa with just over 28%. And then finally, the most obese nation out of the three, Egypt at 32%, making them the 11th most obese nation in the world. Next, we'll look at the percentage of their population that has access to improved water sources. So to my surprise, Egypt actually takes the win here with 99.4%, followed by South Africa with just over 93%, and then finally Nigeria with 68.5% of their population having access to clean water. And finally, to end the video, let's now take a look at the percentage of their population that is under the poverty line. So with a staggering 70%, Nigeria has by far the highest out of the three, followed by Egypt with 28%, and then South Africa 
with around 16.6%. So of course Nigeria has the most poverty, but it also has the biggest GDP, the biggest economy and the most youthful workforce. So there is hope on the horizon for Nigeria. It's just a matter of whether they can withstand and sustain the huge population growth they're about to experience over the next few decades. So now it's your turn. Let us know in the comments section below which one you'd live in, which one you'd visit, and which one you would avoid and why. We can't wait to read your comments. And while you're there, let us know which cities or countries we should do next. So if you did enjoy the video or you learned something new, a like and a sub to the channel would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.